What's up? I just want to shoot this message to, to you guys real quick. Uh, if you have been affected by a narcissist, if a narcissist has been in your life through relationship, whether it's on a job, whether it's a parent, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a lover, know this. The narcissist has crossed your path to wake you up. They are sent into your life. This is an assignment. If you could stop focusing on this narcissist and trying to get them to change, waiting and hoping on them to change, you can shift your focus back to where it needs to be. If you pay attention, the narcissist is strategically taking the focus off of you and putting it all on them. When they are doing all these accusations against you, they are keeping you in defense mode. They are keeping you jittery. They are keeping you anxious. They are keeping you des desperate for fighting after them. They are keeping you in a negative place. So basically, they are disarming you. They are making you disarm to where you cannot come against them. They are constantly coming against you. They are consistently waging war, a spiritual warfare against you. You feel it. You may not see it. You may not be intuitive enough to see it. It's because you don't know who you are yet. See this narcissist, this narcissist know exactly who you are in the spirit realm. They know exactly who you are to God and they know exactly what you are supposed to be doing in this world. They come in and they attach themselves to you, being incognito, hoping that you do not catch on so that they can reap the benefits of your true blessings. They want to come in and rob you of those things. And I'm not talking about no materialistic things. Oh, yeah, they're going to benefit and reap the benefits of those. But the sole thing is to drain you of your life force, your energy. Okay. If you stay with them long enough, you'll begin to look like them. You'll begin to sound like them. You become them and they become you. They begin to start talking like you, looking like you, dressing like you, being you. Okay. Who they were before they first entered into your life. You see it. You literally looking at a mirror, looking at these people. So if you could just take a moment. And step back from these vampires, you will see they don't have their own reflection. Their reflection is you. So you have fallen in love with you. You have fallen in love with yourself. So all these good attributes that you are getting from this narcissist child, you get yourself back. You the good one.